All right, here at GW Fins this morning, we're gonna do something that we don't do in the restaurant, but it's really good to do at home, and that's deep fried flounder. An accompaniment to that that we're gonna make first are hush puppies. I'm gonna start off with, I've got a cup of milk and a cup of buttermilk. I'm gonna bring those up pretty much to a boil. I'm also gonna add a quarter cup of rendered bacon grease. And while that's coming up, got my cornmeal there, which I'm gonna pour the, the boiling milk and bacon grease over. And then I have some corn flour here. Got a tablespoon of baking powder, and I've got a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix that together real well. I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and beat up my eggs. Okay, our buttermilk and milk and bacon grease mixture is about hot enough to pour over our cornmeal here. Okay, I'm gonna add a cup of chopped onion, a couple of tablespoons of chopped garlic, about a tablespoon or two of chopped parsley, about one bunch of chopped green onions. All right, I'm gonna stir in my three eggs now. Now I'm gonna add my, my plain fish fry that has my salt, pepper, baking powder, and baking soda in it. Also, I may wanna thin this out a little bit with just a little bit more buttermilk. It looks like it's gonna be just a little bit tight. All right, this is the first part of our fried seafood dish, and we're gonna, we're gonna let this rest, and our next thing that we put together is gonna be our coleslaw. Now, everybody's got a different idea of what slaw is. My only um, advice would that to be, put your vegetables separately, and then make your dressing. That way you can adjust your dressing the way you want it before you mix it into vegetables. We're gonna do a very basic thing here. I'm gonna start off, I've got salt, pepper, sugar, celery seed, I've got some cane vinegar, you can use cider vinegar, you can use white vinegar, whatever you want, and some honey. I'm gonna mix that all together, dissolve that honey. And then I have some delicious full fat blue plate mayonnaise. Which after the honey's dissolved, I'm gonna mix that right in. little bit of Tabasco in there, about a half a teaspoon. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this over my, I've just got some cabbage and red and green peppers here, and I'm not gonna mix all of it. All right, now we got our hush puppy batter made, we got our coleslaw finished, and it's time for us to put our fish together. I've got a little salt, pepper, a little Cajun land seasoning, some small pieces of flounder, because I want them to, they're gonna cook real, real quick. And I'm gonna cook the hush puppies first because the hush puppies take longer to cook. But anyway, that comes next. I'm gonna season salt, pepper, a little Cajun land. I'm doing that on both sides. Then I've got a breading station set up here of flour, egg wash, and seasoned fish fry. Now when you're doing a, a, a flour and a wet batter, you want the, the product, whatever it is you're frying, to sit in the, the liquid for a couple of minutes, long enough for the, the liquid to dissolve the flour a little bit so you get a nice sticky surface. 
so you're, uh, you're final breading the, the fish fry sticks to it. Okay, now we're going to go over to the fryer and start frying. All right, we got our hush puppy batter made, we got our fish breaded, we got our coleslaw made, and the first thing we're going to do is fry the hush puppies since they take longer to cook than the fish. Now watch this carefully, this is a chef thing. Get a small handful of hush puppy batter, scoop it with a spoon, with your finger, push it out in the grease. Be very careful not to put your finger in the grease or also to splash the grease. Now as they come up to the top, they're going to harden up just a little bit. I'm going to let them cook for about a minute and then we're going to put them in a basket where we can handle them more easily. All right, but they're, they're about half done so I can go ahead and drop my fish now. Turn my hush puppies over now. You see one side's quite a bit browner than the other. All right, our hush puppies are done and our fish is done. A little pieces of fish like this, when they float, they're ready. So if you got a deep fryer at your camp or you've even got a fry daddy or something like that, this would be a great thing to make with trout or drum or sheephead or flounder or anything you've got. It's all good fried this way. And here is our finished dish. It's just fried Louisiana flounder with coleslaw and hush puppies.